his Fides party won a two-thirds majority for the third time straight time in Sunday's election, meaning he again has the powers to change constitutional laws, potentially paving the way for further friction with the European Union. The victory could embolden Orban to put more muscle into a central European alliance against EU migration policies, working with other right-wing nationalists in Poland and Austria, and further expose cracks in the 28-nation bloc. The proposed legislation is part of Orban's campaign targeting Hungarian-born U.S. financier George Soros, whose philanthropy aims to bolster liberal and open border values. Those borders have been fortified since a migrant influx in 2015, when hundreds of thousands of people fled wars and poverty in the Middle East and Africa. One non-governmental organization described the prospect of the bill as terrifyingly serious. Last month, Orban told state radio the government had drafted the bill because activists were being paid by Soros to transform Hungary into an immigrant country. Soros has rejected the government campaign against him as distortions and lies meant to create a false external enemy. Common duty analysts at HSBC said Orban's strong mandate could be problematic if it serves to embolden its nationalistic policies and strengthens its hand in its arguments with the EU over the rule of law or migration. A spokesman said European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker would write to Orban to congratulate him on his victory. The people of Hungary have voted yesterday and the European Union is a union of democracy and values, the European Commission spokesman added. President Juncker and the Commission feel that defending these principles and defending these values is the common duty of all member states with no exception. German Chancellor Angela Merkel congratulated Orban, a German government spokesman said, adding she would work with his new government despite differences on migration. It is quite obvious that there are also controversial issues in our cooperation, the different stances in migration policy come to mind, spokesman Stefan Siebert added. French far-right leader Marine L. E. Pen was the first to congratulate Orban. Poland's deputy foreign minister and envoy to the EU, Konrad Zymanski, hailed his victory as a confirmation of Central Europe's emancipation policy. According to preliminary results with 99% of votes counted, National Election Office data showed Fides winning 133 seats, a tight two-thirds majority in the 199-seat parliament. Nationalist Jobbik won 26 seats, while the Socialists were projected in third with 20 lawmakers. Some of the NGOs that could be hit by the new law said they expected a hardening in the new government's stance. Transparency International legal director Miklos Lajeti said for the time being it considered Hollish comment a political declaration made in the heat of an election victory. Orban, Hungary's longest-serving post-communist premier, opposes deeper integration of the EU and, teaming up with Poland, has been a fierce critique of Brussels policies. Since coming to power in 2010, his government has locked horns with the European Commission over reforms that critics say have eroded democratic checks and balances and weakened the independence of the media. His critics say Orban has put Hungary on an increasingly authoritarian path and his stance on immigration has fueled xenophobia in the Central European country. Well, the government has successfully implemented its hate campaign. They planted hatred in people's heart, which is very sad, said Balash Bansajai, 45, a quality controller.